Hello and welcome to our service of thanksgiving and prayer on this Thanksgiving Eve. Join with us in our opening sentences. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing to your name, O Most High. Join with me in our prayer of confession. Almighty God, maker of all things, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, giver of life, have mercy on us. Let us confess our sins to God. O, o Lord, Lord, our, our God, God, you call us to work for a world where all will be fed and have dignity, but we find ourselves distracted by our own desires. You call us to bring liberty to the oppressed, but we do not insist on freedom for all. Forgive us, O Lord. Turn us to your will by the power of your Spirit, so that all may know your justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Psalms, from Psalm 8. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God, and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We hear now a reading from 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verses 6 through 15. The point is this, the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of his ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and by the generosity of your sharing with them and with all others, while they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God that he has given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We join now in a litany of thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord who is good. God's love is everlasting. 
Come, let us praise God joyfully. Let us come to God with thanksgiving. For the good world, for things great and small, beautiful and awesome, for seen and unseen splendors. Thank you, God. For human life, for talking and moving and thinking together, for common hopes and hardships shared from birth until our dying. Thank you, God. For work to do and strength to work, for the comradeship of labor, for exchanges of good humor and encouragement. Thank you, God. For family, for living together and eating together, for family amusements and family pleasures. Thank you, God. For children, for their energy and curiosity, for their brave play and startling frankness, for their sudden sympathies. Thank you, God. For the young, for their high hopes, for their irreverence toward worn out values, for their search for freedom, for their solemn vows. Thank you, God. For growing up and growing old, for wisdom deepened by experience, for rest in leisure, and for time made precious by its passing. Thank you, God. For your help in times of doubt and sorrow, for healing our diseases, for preserving us in temptation and danger. Thank you, God. For the church into which we have been called, for the good news we have received by word and sacrament, for our life together in the Lord. Thank you, God. For your Holy Spirit, who guides our steps and brings us gifts of faith and love, who prays in us and prompts our grateful worship. Thank you, God. Above all, O oh God, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who lived and died and lives again for our salvation, for our hope in him, and for the joy of serving him. We thank and praise you, eternal God, for all your goodness to us. Give thanks to the Lord who is good. God's love is everlasting. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. God of all mercies, we give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all living things. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your boundless love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. 
May God Almighty bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.